What's up guys, Hopeless Dragon here with another video. Today it's going to be an update on my Trick Stars. Um, haven't done an update on them in a while, so uh, I figure I'd get around to it. And this is more of a fun build, um, focus on the card Greed, so it's kind of more of a trolley kind of build, but uh, we'll get right into it. So to start things off, we got our triple Trick Star Candina. Uh, she's your searcher of the deck. When she's normal summoned, you can add a Trick Star card from your deck to your hand. And each time your opponent activates a spell or trap card, you almost like 200 to them. Um, you're normally just going to be bouncing her back and summoning Lily Bell, though, because uh, with all the draw cards, it uh, makes her effect even more relevant. And along with Greed, uh, does some pretty dumb stuff. <laughs> then uh, run Triple on us. Um, might seem kind of overkill, but uh, you want to make sure your stuff stays on the board. Um, mainly your Lycoris. Um, licorice, licorice, whatever you want to call her, but uh, this really helps with that and um, also helps inflict more damage to your opponent, which is pretty good. Then we got triple Trickstar Lycoris. Um, she's probably the best one of them all. Um, each time your opponent draws a card, uh, it burns for 200, and you can return a Trickstar monster to special summon her from your hand. Then we got triple Droll and Lockbird. Um, even though you do focus on making your opponent draw a lot in this deck, um, getting rid of your opponent's entire hand is still just too dumb not to, uh, run, and you can still make them draw a lot, and then still get rid of their entire hand, which is really dirty and really dumb, and you should probably get hit, but, uh, still here now, so, yeah, pretty much just stops drawing, that's the main thing, and you can use it to completely get rid of your opponent's hand. Uh, one Gofu, just good for easy links, that's the main thing for it. And for the last monster, one Lily Bell. Um, I have tried two in here. I might try bumping it back up to two. Um, I decided to cut it for uh, the Gofu just to make a few more link plays. So you got a few more options in here because Gofu is pretty good. But um, when she's drawn, except like if you normally draw on her, which she's added to your hand pretty much, you can special summon her. Then she can attack directly. If they inflict battle damage, you can target a Trickstar monster and add it back to your hand. So. She's really good uh, with Lily Bell because you can add back Lily Bell and just special summon it. And then uh, if she wasn't special summoned that turn, you can special summon her right back. So it's pretty cool. And uh, there's also a loop with Firewall Dragon that you can use with uh, Lily Bell and uh, Lecherous. But I do not own Firewall, but um, if you do own one, that's an option for you. Hopefully, it'll get a reprint here eventually or get hit so it becomes cheaper. But uh, Triple Light Sage. Um, when it's activated, you can add a Trickstar monster for your deck to your hand, and then you can target a set card your opponent controls, and they can't activate until the end phase, and then they have to activate in the phase, or it's destroyed. And it pretty much just uh, lets you inflict more damage each time a Trickstar monster inflicts damage to your opponent, um, they take an additional 200. Then triple terraforming, just to get to that quicker, and double contract with Don Thousand for uh, the last of the spells. Which pretty much is when it's activated, you uh, and your opponent both draw a card, so it helps with greed. Um, you both lose a thousand life points as well, which again, it's kind of a burn deck. Uh, burn's kind of dumb, but trick stars are cool, so it's got that going for it. And uh, when a player has a spell card revealed by this effect, so even if they draw it during their normal draw phase, uh, they can't normal summon or set until they don't have any spell cards revealed. And uh, each time each player draws, uh, things will continue to be revealed while this is on the field, so. Uh, it's kind of cool to just uh, know everything in hand, and like I said, this kind of more of a trolley version, so yeah. Then we got Triple Greed, uh, the main card of the deck. Like I said, each time a player draws a card by a card effect um, during the end phase, they will take 500 for every card they drew, so uh, you can get some pretty massive damage, sometimes even OTK with this card, depending on what uh, your opponent has and what you have, so pretty good. Then Triple Reincarnation, um, another really busty card just because uh, it banishes your opponent's entire hand and they draw the same number and then you can also banish this card from the graveyard to bring back a trick star in your graveyard. So um, amazing card. Um, probably should get hit sometime but uh, we'll see about it. Then Triple Present card um, makes your opponent discard the entire hand and draw five. So, uh, that's 2,500 right there with your Greed, and that's just one of them. Uh, if you have multiples, they do stack, so it's pretty cool. And it can also help uh, trigger Droll and Locks combo and stuff, along with this and your Disturbance strategy and everything. Then we're running Triple Recall. Um, negates the monster effects, and your opponent draws a card. So, helps with Lycoris, helps with the Greed, and uh, 
can stop hand traps. It's pretty cool. It can stop effects anywhere, which is nice. So graveyard, hand, wherever. Uh, just stop the effect, give your opponent another card. Um, it's decent in here in other decks. I don't know about it. Um, same thing with Dark Bribe, which we also in here. But uh, then we got two Blazing Mirror Force. Again, just a little more protection and uh, some burn damage when your opponent attacks to other monsters. You take damage equal to half the point attack of uh, all the monsters, the original attack, and uh, then your opponent takes it. And then two Dark Bribes. Uh, just good to negate anything that would stop you or all your cards from doing the most. And for the last card, we have two Disturbance Strategies, just because uh, helps with uh, Joel and Locke, helps... Uh, Getting your opponent to add back their hand, draw new cards. Uh, if you can present card, then this. That uh, is 10 cards right there, so that's 5k just with one greed. So, yeah, the deck can do some really dumb plays, but it um, just depends on what you have. So that's it for the main deck. On to the extra. Uh, we have one Boral Load. Uh, pretty good card. Good beater. Can get over a lot of different stuff. Uh, don't have to worry about monster effects targeting them. Um, probably one of the best seeds in here. Uh, one top logic bomber dragon. Uh, it's just good because it can do some burn and if something would be special summon to a link pointer uh, he blows up all monsters in the main monster zones and uh, then you can't attack for the rest of that turn but uh, depends on if you do it or if your opponent does it. And then also if you destroy the opponent's monster you can uh, inflict damage equal to its original attack so it's pretty good as well. Then uh, we have one guy saber. Just good pointers and good stats. Uh, one in Grisu which um also, we'll do a World Child Sacrifice here sometime, just hoping Firewall ends up getting a reprint, because uh, it's starting to go down in price, but if it ends up getting hit or reprinted, then uh, it will drop a lot, so don't really want to go too expensive on it, but anyways. Uh, it's just pretty much like a scrap dragon. You can send one card you control, send one of your opponents, and also if you uh, have Ib with them, you can get a draw, because you can make Ib and him, but uh, they don't really come up too often in here. That's more or less in another build I have that focuses more on Link Summoning. But uh, these are all just options. Uh, don't go into it all too often, but it's there if you have a chance to. Uh, Deco can gain attack, stop stuff that targets. Two tricks are Holly Angels. Um, I really like Holly Angels. She's pretty good. If a tricks are monsters, no one summon to a card zone. Well, to one of her pointers. Then your opponent takes 200 and she gains 200. And then um, each time a your opponent takes damage by a trick star monster effect, they she gains more attack. So. It's only until the end phase, which kind of sucks, but she can be a little bit of beater and do a little extra burn. Now I'm running two Trickstar Black Cat Bats, um, or Sweet Devil as I like to call her, but, uh, and yes, these are Japanese, but um, I do have English ones over here for people that want that, but um, pretty much her effect is um, whenever each time I Trickstar Monster, um, the points of her would be destroyed by a card effect, and since the graveyard, and burn your opponent for 200. And then if your opponent takes damage by a trick star monster effect, all their monsters lose 200 attack. So, she's okay, she's mainly just there for the side pointers, and I um, absolutely love the artwork of this card. It's uh, my favorite, I wish we had it in Secret or Ultimate here, but we don't get Ultimates in uh, TCG for packs anymore, at least main set packs. Uh, one Ib uh, can protect stuff that's linked with, and... And get more draws with uh, Ningrisu. Uh, Akahis, just good if your opponent has something in a link zone to bounce back. It's the main thing you use it for. Uh, one proxy, mainly just there for uh, Gofu to make stuff. And one Baguska, in case you do get the chance to make a rank 4. It's there to uh, just pretty much sit in the fence and normally have links on the field. and uh, Or, yeah, pretty much just if you have links to... Switch everything to the fence while it's in the fence and stop your opponent's card effects because there's still plenty of spell and traps that can still do plenty of damage. So even if your trick starts in the gate, it's not the end of the world for this. So really good card in here. Uh, one cowboy just because of the room. Um, and one, yeah, and you also can do more burn. Sometimes burn for game or something like that, like in old days when cowboys used a little more often. And one break sword because it's fairly easy to make because you can summon Lycoris super easy in here. And it's just another easy pop card and good attack. Um, if you do have a Firewall Dragon, I'd probably cut one of the uh, Black Cat Bats for it. Just because um, Firewall is really good in here. Um, even though this deck doesn't focus as much on Link Summoning. But uh, it 
could come up, so still good to have. But anyways, there was my update on Trickstars. This is my Trickstar Greed build. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all later.